construction of the world's largest radio telescope has officially been completed, and it has begun searching for signals from stars and galaxies. If everything goes well, this massive 500 meter telescope could possibly pick up signals from intelligent extraterrestrial life. Hello, what is going down? It is your girl Charlotte, alien cheerleader and news host extraordinaire. Welcome back to IO. I'm here to tell you that the world's largest radio telescope has been switched on, and it's already looking for aliens. It's called the 500 meter aperture spherical telescope or fast and it's in China's southern Gizhou province. So why does China want the world's biggest radio telescope? Do you think maybe they're compensating for something? I mean, come on, we all know what's really going on here. They want international prestige, of course. Wait, what did you think I meant? Oh god, oh no, oh no, no, no. Okay, so think about how the Egyptians left their mark with the Great Pyramids. The telescope is kind of like China's Great Pyramid, 21st century style, and built with far less slaves. No slaves, to be exact. In addition, the ultimate goal of FAST is to discover the laws of the development of the universe. So in other words, how the universe began. In addition to that, it will probe gravitational waves, dark matter and fast radio bursts and listen for transmissions from aliens. It's just one of China's new projects that it hopes will give it a bigger role on the international stage. Fast was no small endeavor. It cost over 180 million dollars and 5 long years to build. It is a full 200 meters bigger than the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico, whose star research led to the Nobel Prize. Fast has double the sensitivity of the Arecibo Observatory and has an area equal to 30 soccer fields. That's a friggin big telescope. The location of the telescope was hand picked as well. It was actually built inside the natural depression in the terrain and uses the mountains around it to block out radio interference. China relocated 9,110 people from villages in the surrounding area to create a zone free of radio interference. Don't worry though, those people were given cash and new houses to make up for having to move. So what are the chances FAST could pick up a signal from an alien civilization. Well, not sure if you guys remember this, but a Russian telescope picked up a very strong radio signal from a star that was just 94 light years from Earth. In fact, the Russian telescope is called Ratan 600, and it's another one of the world's biggest. The signal was detected near a sun-like star called HD 164595, and if it does turn out to be artificial, it could mean it's from a civilization much more advanced than our own. A signal beam from 94 light years away would have to come from a type 2 civilization. That means it's a civilization advanced enough to harness the energy from its star. It likely would have to use a superstructure, which is basically a big antenna. Just for some perspective, humans are a type 1 civilization. That's right, we are so underdeveloped as a civilization we are not even a type 1. However, there's other explanations for that signal. It could have also been a terrestrial disturbance, like a satellite. But that's why the world needs telescopes like FAST. You have to observe these signals to make sure. In case you're wondering, FAST has already picked up a signal. Ok, not an alien signal, but still. It received radio signals from a pulsar that was 1351 light years from Earth. A pulsar is a pulsating radio star that's highly magnetized and emits a beam of electromagnetic radiation. According to researchers, in theory, if there is a civilization in outer space, the radio signal it sends will be similar to the signal we can receive when we receive a pulsar. The FAST telescope isn't the only move by China to improve its standing in international space exploration. China also launched its second space station, which intends to get China that much closer to a mission to Mars. If you're still watching, good for you! I'll now reply to a few of your comments from previous videos. In our video called First Baby Born With Three Parents, Nene's Entertainment asks, are you dating yet? Why yes Nene, I am dating. Next comment comes from OP Wings on our police capture creepy clown video. The comment is, which one of you guys would make out with the potato? I don't know if I would mind making out with the potato, but our potato is pretty old. Maybe if we get a new potato and wash it, I'll make out with it. Jared might get jealous though of the potato, of me. Last comment comes from Laser Kid on the same video. Laser Kid asked, "What's your favorite YouTube channel other than your own?" Laser Kid, I really like Flula. He's this German guy that makes fun of English terms of phrase. Would definitely recommend. That's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. IO.